So what's up guys how do you do welcome to Shasham Program Users TV in this case we're going to see how to populate a JavaFX list view with an array list of data so in this case the array list is actually our data source and then JavaFX list view is our component now as you can see right here if we also going to handle the item clicks if an item is clicked we are showing it in a dialog so this is what we are looking at so join us to get started so our first thing is that we can create our project i'm assuming you can create of course a java project you know whatever ide you are using so once you've done that one then of course the first thing will specify the package normally classes are organized in packages so that's our package in food composure then of course right here we're going to create our class i'm just calling it main okay you can see right here main.java it's my class i'm going to have some imports and these imports all of them of course uh most of them are javafx imports okay as you can see right here now the next thing we're going to make our class extend from application you can see it's telling us that main class must either be declared abstract or implement abstract method start given that we've implemented this particular applic we've extended this particular application class so we'll come first come right here and then we'll come to the one later on we're going to create an instance field called mlist view of course it's a list view object okay java fx dot uh scene dot control um dot list view okay now we come right here the next first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a helper method that's going to help us in populating our list view with data so we come first populating our array list with data now array list of course nebula equal to new array list this is just a generic array list of strings you can clearly see right here we are populating it with as you can see um of course the nebulas okay we populate our array list with nebulas various of them from pelican to butterfly to orion all of them so once we've populated our array list then we're going to loop through that array list it's an array list of string so we come and say for string nebula nebula then we'll come and say m list view dot get items then we call the add method okay so so right here m list view dot get items which will return for us of course a list of items then we call this add method we add the nebula okay so we add it now this is a method right here that populates our list view with data from our array first we populate the array array list then our list view so that's the our method so the next thing is that we're going to create another method right here in fact is a method overriding okay so by the term overriding this basically means this is actually an object oriented term it means that this method is already defined in the application class okay so it's defined of course in our javafx dot application dot application class and what we are basically doing right here is that we're overriding it okay we are implementing it it was an abstract method so we are providing its implementation so as you can see it's taking in a stage object then it's throwing an exception so we'll come right here scene scene equal to new scene then of course new group okay we we'll pass in a group instance inside our scene constructor then stage the set title we set the title for our stage then we come and say stage the set width we set the width then of course we come stage the set height then we come right here label we instantiate a label then pass in the text for that particular label then of course title label dot set font we set the font as lucida and then the size as 20 then we invoke our populate data method now we can also come put here we're going to invoke another method called handle item clicks which we'll look at later on then we go ahead and send to our vbox okay vbox arranges its children uh, vertically one on top of the other okay so it's actually like a view group that arranges its items if you are coming from android then you can compare it to a linear layout whose orientation is vertical we set the spacing to five then set the padding top right bottom and left then of course we come right here the box that get children which will return for us an observable list then we call add all 
we add our title label we also add the list view so label and list view we add them in our v box we set the alignment to center okay now group group scene dot get root okay then we cast it to group then group dot get children dot add all we add the view box okay then we call the set layout text then we call the set scene we pass in the scene now we call stage dot show okay so that will do for us that's our start method okay all we're remaining now is 200 item clicks then of course come to our main method now let's come right here private for 100 item clicks this method right here we're going to have our event handler so m list view dot set on mouse clicked then of course we're going to come right here string selected item equal to m list view dot get selection model dot get selected item dot to string we get selected item then we instantiate our dialog okay then we're using the alert type dot information we pass in the selected item then of course we call d dot show to show the dialog now once we've done that one we'll come to our main method then of course inside the main method feature we we'll just call application dot launch then we pass in right here args okay now all that's all we need we now come and then run the project so if we run our project you can see what you're getting right here so of course we can just come and then of course have our stuff right here and then whatever we are able to get whatever we select okay so this is it right here okay so we select an item then it gets shown to us so this does it right here our project go ahead subscribe to our channel programming users tv like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class